Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the R-rated comedy film, The Heat. The Heat stars Sandra Bullock, Melissa McCarthy, and Marlon Wayans. This film is directed by Paul Feig. He is the director of Bridesmaids. And I know everyone basically loves Bridesmaids. They think it's one of the greatest comedy films to be ever made. And it even got nominated at the Academy Award. Yay! No. No. I hated Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids is a bad movie in my opinion. It is so fucking overrated. It's not even funny. It's so bad. There are funny moments here and there, but overall, I thought Bridesmaids was a bad film. I wanted to see the heat. I thought the trailers were cracking me up, and I was actually pretty damn excited to go see the heat because I really like Sandra Bullock. Melissa McCarthy, she hasn't really impressed me that much with most films, but I can definitely see a talent in her and that she can be a funny person. I really do think it's just the scripts she works with. After seeing The Heat, it's an entertaining film. I had fun with the film. It's an enjoyable film, but not quite as funny as it should have been. This film is a hit and miss comedy. Is it better than Bridesmaids in my opinion? Oh, hell, hell yes. A whole lot better than that overrated bad movie Bridesmaids, in my opinion. If you love Bridesmaids, it's okay but me. Just couldn't stand that film. But The Heat, yes, it is a way better film than Bridesmaids, in my opinion. Not as good as I hoped it would be, but it was definitely enjoyable. Sandra Bullock, she does a good job here. She's funny here. And Melissa McCarthy, well, she plays basically the same character. I don't have a problem with that. Melissa McCarthy, she is actually funny here. She's a hit and miss. Like, some of the things she'll say, it's funny. Some of the other things she'll say is like, okay, woman, you're getting a little repetitive. We get it now. You could stop. The Heat is a hit and miss film because some of the moments in The Heat are hilarious. Like, I was actually dying laughing out loud at some of the moments in The Heat. But the other moments in The Heat were boring. There were a few scenes that actually felt like a filler. When Melissa McCarthy is like putting in all her, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. She was just like running it a little too long in a few scenes and you're all like, okay, we get it. Can you just shut your mouth already? I was like that a few times with Melissa McCarthy because her character did get annoying going run and on and on and on and on. And it just made the movie a little filler in my opinion. There are some hilarious moments. I still got at least some good laughs and I'm happy about that. But I wish the movie could have made me laugh more and just the moments that were supposed to be funny, it just bored me. I found it kind of lame. Storyline to this film, it's okay. It's nothing great. It's nothing special. Really, you just watch comedy films for the comedy. But me, I do look into the storyline comedy films as well. And for this one, it's just okay. It's not like it's anything new. I knew that coming into this film anyways. I just wanted to get laughs and I got some of that. There were a couple of jokes I could tell that they copied off from 21 Jump Street. I'm not going to spoil which ones. You might know when it's coming when you see this film. Definitely one of the most hilarious moments in this film involves a watermelon. That's all I'm going to say. It involves a watermelon. There were also albino jokes like... Of all the humor that was in this film, the most hilarious jokes in The Heat are the albino jokes. Watch the movie and you'll see why. Of course, there's also a very funny scene with Melissa McCarthy and Sandra Bullock being drunk at a bar. I actually thought that was hilarious. They're not really spoilers. I just want to kind of give you a hint what the funniest parts of The Heat were in my opinion. The pacing here in this film is fine. The film does overstay its welcome just a little, not a whole lot, but just a little. I would say just maybe cut out 15 minutes out of this film and it would have been at its okay time limit. This film has some nice heartwarming scenes. You kind of dig deep into Melissa McCarthy's character and I do appreciate the film doing that. I'm actually glad we got to get a lot of background story of Melissa McCarthy, the issues she is dealing with her family. I honestly did not expect that going into this film, but that aspect of the film did surprise me. There was a scene 
Some people are going to find this particular scene disturbing and unnecessary, but for me, I thought it was hilarious. It involved a straw, a knife, and cutting up a neck. That's all I'm going to give you, but it had me laughing. Yes, it was disturbing, but it, I, I just couldn't help but laugh. The Heat is a forgettable comedy film. It wasn't really as funny as I hoped it would be, even though there were some very hilarious moments in this film. But there's also humor that just could have been better. It's a hit and miss film. Not a comedy I could revisit. For the one time watch, I did have fun with it. It's an entertaining comedy film. In my opinion, this is better than Bridesmaids. Tell me in the comments below, you guys, which Paul Feig film do you like better? Bridesmaids or The Heat? I'm going to give The Heat two and a half out of four stars. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!